guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here hello and welcome my name is Anita and I upload mainly Animal Crossing content and today we are preparing for the 2.0 update we are getting ready for one very important character and that is Capin we are going to be creating the best dock pier waiting area ticket booth and just general Capin area for him for when he starts to come to the island to take us to the new mystery islands and we're also going to be building a fish market on this corner of the beach as well which I think will tie in really nicely if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the little community we also have the community tab now which is amazing I'm so excited to start posting little um community posts and polls oh my god i'm so excited so i'm very prepared today i have all of the items ready to go i have most of the stuff needed customized already so that's always good um and i think first off we should do the pier because it's not capping's pier without all of the stuff for him so let's just grab what I need. So what I have here is, um, where should we put it? Let's put it here. I have the public bench. It's like a little waiting area. Well then, we definitely did not mean to sit on that just then. And I also have a simple panel with like boat, whoa, boat times on it like all of the different islands and times. There's been a cancellation, oh dear. Um, I think this is a really cute touch for like waiting for Capin to come and pick you up. You can just chill and wait for him here. Um, I also have, and I'm so proud of this by the way, I drew this myself and we have, wait for it, wait for it, a Capin sign. <laughs> Doesn't he look so cute? It took me maybe 20 minutes to draw this up. I love it. And it started to rain. So we have the little capping sign and a stall as well for all of the tickets. And I've done this in like the turtle print just because I think it kind of matches capping a little bit more than anything else would. And I do have the typewriter. I think we do get the um, cash registers um, in the update, so we'll just replace that with one of them when that comes out. And his pier is pretty much done. We can probably add a few bits um, towards the end, but that's basically what I have for Capin's pier. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I don't really want to block out this little picnic area in front of Agnes's house, so I think we'll probably use this as a cutoff point. Um, so let's extend the pathway a little bit more. That is really cute. And then I have the carp banner to place here as well, which I'm in love with. I love this banner so much. Um, so something like that, which is really cute. And then I have, I'm trying to find everything, the outdoor table. I'm going to put this here. We have a stall. Maybe this could go in a darker colorway actually. No, we'll keep it light, we'll keep it light. <laughs> Oh, come on. It was perfect last time. So we have this stall here. Um, and then I kind of want to put the cash register maybe in the middle. Can we get it in the middle? <laughs> the typewriter can go in the middle like that. And then over here, I'm going to put the wetsuit. Oh, okay, we'll pull this over first. Let's go that way. Everybody shuffle on over. Come on. So we have the wetsuit and we also have the matching snorkel. 
that's so cute over here i want to put um the fishing rod stand i think that'll be really cute there i also have the fishing waders well then i didn't really want to actually put them on so talking about the update, what are you looking forward to the most? Are you looking forward to Brewster and the Roost? Are you looking forward to Capping? What about all of the items? I know a lot of people are really excited about the froggy chair. What are you most excited for and what are you not too bothered by? Let me know in the comments down below. It's always nice to know what people are actually excited about. For me, I'm really looking forward to all the new items um, and especially the wall partitions as well. Like, I'm really excited for all of that. It's gonna be so amazing to be able to create like partitioned walls and like rooms inside rooms. That I'm really looking forward to. Something I'm not really too bothered about, I think um, maybe it's an unpopular opinion. <laughs> But I love the froggy chair, it's really cute. If they didn't add it, I would. I still wouldn't have been too bothered, I don't think. I don't think I'd ever actually use it. So it's never really been a furniture piece that I'm bothered about having in the game. I know a lot of people do like that chair and it is really cute. Um, so I'm glad that it's coming for everybody else, but yeah, <laughs> it's not really my, my, my style of furniture. So these mystery islands we can go to with Capin. I wonder how they're going to work. Can you choose like if you want to go to a different time of day, a different season, or is it all really just random? I really want to know if, you know, you do have a say in the kind of island you go to or if it is just random and you go where you're sent. What else do I have? I do want to put a bit of a fence around the edgeways and I do want to remove Sorry, puppy. I need some fruit. Oh, we'll, we'll take this. Um, let's move these trees out of the way without taking the coconuts off them because I'd, there's one already in place that has no coconuts because I think I chopped some wood from it yesterday. I was a little bit of a, a axe fiend yesterday. I was chopping all of the trees. So I think we should put can we put a tree here like that and maybe one there too i think that's cute yay um and then we have some fencing and i couldn't decide what fence i wanted to use so i brought everything with me <laughs> so there is this coral fence which could work I couldn't decide on what type of chair I wanted to use so I have two different types so I have the iron table and chairs and the garden table and chairs so I thought I would just see which one looks better um, natural garden iron garden do I have a table is there a table anywhere Am I not allowed one? Oh, here we go. So I have this and then I also have this one. And I think I'm gonna go with the this one here. I think this one actually works well with all of the wood in the area. Okay, so they've been customized. They match the fence. Can we move it up? Nope, okay. <laughs> it's not a problem. Um, let's rotate. So we have like a little cute sitting area here, which I think looks really cute. I also have a mug to put down, like that. Um, can we put a fish up here? and then I also have the fish drying rack 
as well. Can we push that up? Nope. <laughs> I like how this is turning out. Um, no, I want to put the fence back down. The fence. The building with Anita is always chaos. Put that one there. And uh, that one there. And then we'll have some form of path here, I think. Hey, Shep. Bye, Shep. <laughs> Can we create like a little step at the back here as well? I think that would be really cute. I'm going to move this tree over just slightly because I feel like it's in the way a little bit from the pathway. It's less of an inconvenience. And then I also have some cardboard boxes to put down here as if, you know, it's all of their stock. And obviously some more cardboard boxes. <laughs> it is a marketplace after all. Okay, here's one bit of coral fencing and another bit of coral fencing. I think that works really nicely. And then I have a tiki torch. Are you serious? Are you telling me it won't go here? And we can put one, I think, here as well. For a little bit of light, <laughs> so we're not in the dark over here. Um, I really like how this is turning out. We just need something on the floor to connect. Something like that. And then I do have some flowers as well. Something like that. I think that's really cute. I'm in love with that. And then I just have a few weeds to place. Plant. Maybe I can plant one here as well. I also have a little tulip place there just for a little bit of a floral something something <laughs> and just to finish off I'm gonna go and scatter some of these sand designs down I think that would be really really cute so the last finishing touches is going to be the seaweed <laughs> this bad boy <laughs> oh my god stop showing the seaweed nobody wants to see the seaweed there we go so we can have some seaweed on the dock ready um I want to put a lump of it maybe here. You gotta love seaweed. And I think instead of that weed, we can put another lump of seaweed. Yay. So let's have a quick walkthrough of the area now that it's finished. So we have this little stone pathway that takes us onto the little fishing market where you can buy your diving gear, your fishing gear. You can also purchase and sell your fish. Um, they have some yummy octopusy squid things drying on this rack. They have a table, you can probably ask for a cup of coffee and they will give you some and you can just chill here on the marketplace waiting for Capin and then we have a little ticket booth for Capin as well in this really cute turtle shell pattern. I thought that would work really well for him considering he is a turtle. Um, and then if you go up here we have 
the waiting area and time board so you know when and where you are going. So, oh, oh dear. <laughs> so I think that's everything. And now all we need to do is wait for Captain to come and collect us from this island. <laughs> Take us somewhere new, please. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this build i hope you're just as excited as i am about the 2.0 update and the dlc i am so excited for capping for brewster for all of the furniture and just all of the fun stuff that is going to be coming our way after such a long period of waiting and waiting so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe i upload every tuesday thursday and saturday and i'll see you in the next one bye